Hey babes, this video is going to be my full face using only kids makeup challenge and unlike a lot of the other YouTubers, I couldn't afford so much of the kids makeup so I just used the money that I had and gouged around and bought what I could and this is the look that I created and my face feels itchy right now and before the tutorial I just wanted to ask you guys to subscribe if you haven't already and that's it, enjoy the video actually it's a bit tense going into this before we start let's pop my contacts in mm -mm. Mm -mm. this makeup better not break me out I have put on so much moisturizer for this video so that there's a barrier between my skin and the makeup. Okay, so for this challenge, I've brought a bunch of makeup. Not as much as the other bigger YouTubers have, because honestly, I'm on a budget. So I didn't buy them like massive like eyeshadow palettes because I'm going to use just to the budget that I've got. And honestly, some of the stuff I had before, like the Claire's glitters, I always had that. So I'm quite lucky. I'm just going to use them. So first things up, I'm going to be using this Makeup Gallery Gorgeous Flawless Long Lasting Foundation. And this is in beige number four. And they actually had a few shades, um, but I think this is going to be quite pink on me. We'll just see. It looks really moussey. Um, but let's see how this goes. Looks a little bit fictitious to me. I think my skin's just eating up the foundation. Oh, she's stinging a little bit. I've just shaved and she's stinging around my beard area. Ooh. Uh, trust and believe this is going straight off after filming this video. I thought I could have like, um, you know, kept this on for some more filming, but nah, I love that. This is stinging. Shut up. I can't, I can't deal. No, 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 no. She's a bit more. It matches my skin, so that's pretty good. I'm just gonna put another layer on just because I don't think there's not any coverage in this foundation, to be honest. I'm gonna use a foundation again and just dab that under the eyes as a concealer. Okay, this is really streaky. So, once I've done the concealer, which hardly did anything, I'm gonna set the makeup. Now, this, yeah, I bought it from the same brand, and in transit it just broke. So, I don't know quite what happened there, but this powder is broke, and trust and believe it's gonna go straight to the bin, just like the foundation anyway. It smells like roses and talcum powder, like really strong. And I'm going to be very, very careful because it's already broken. Basically, I'm going to set the whole face with this. I'm being really careful to not like spill this everywhere. That works alright, you know, as much as it is chalky and that the fact that it's broken, at least it's mattified the face, you know? I'm actually going to take a little puff and bake with this. So to bronze and contour, I'm going to be using the Makeup Gallery Good to Glow Bronzer in Matte Light. She seems a little bit orange, but we're going to make it work. Yeah, she's working. I can see her. This smells like the same crap. Like, it smells like really old, disgusting perfume. Like, rosy perfume, you know? I'm going to look hella tan for this video. Look at all that powder. Honestly, I don't want to sound so negative in this video, but I just can't hide my feelings. I'm going to wipe off the bake. Do you know what? That actually worked. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking this... Take a... Mm, take a brow... Brow pencil. Mm. The colour is a little bit red, but honestly, it's fine. I'm just going to pop the powder that we used. Oh, okay, she's a little powdery. Um, I'm just going to use that as a base for the eyes. Now I'm going to be using the bronzer again and use it as a transition colour. Please show up. Like, please. Please. Where is she? Has she arrived? Like, she's not here. 
What is going on? So from Claire's, I've got a bunch of these colourful pencils and legit they are called body art crayons and I'm going to be using the purple one because it's really cute and apply that on the eyes. This is like a, like a NYX jumbo pencil and I actually really like these, you know. I'm using that as another base for the eye. I'm going to blend that out a little bit and then I'm going to set that with a purple glitter. Now I've got these Claire glitter stacks. So I'm going to be using the newer glitter stack that I've got and I'm going to be using that purple right there and set the eyes. I'm going to be straight up with you. Claire's glitters, yeah? They are the bomb. Oh, crrr. See? That glitter legit slays. I'm not lying. I'm going to go back in with the pencil the brow pencil and use that as a crease tone because that transition colour, mm-mm. Taking an angled brush and just smudging the crease out so that there's a little bit of a blend there. Don't know how well it's going to blend though, but we'll try. Oh, my days, yeah. This pencil is actually so blotchy right now, it doesn't want to work. Hold up, hold up, I need a minute. Yay, I fixed it. Um, basically, I just needed to go blend with a bronzer and also resharpen the pencil because it was getting a little bit blunt and it was going patchy. Okay, I want to clean up that wing and make it sharp. And then I'm going to sharpen up the wing. I also want to use the yellow glitter from the same stack, so I'm going to be using the yellow base and use the neon yellow glitter in the inner corner. Look how pigmented. Such a good yellow base to be honest. What I'm going to do now is, using the black Claire's Body Art Crayon, I'm going to pop that into the waterline. Smudge a little bit onto your lower lash line as well. So for mascara, I'm going to be using the NeverEnding Story Lengthening Mascara. This is an orange package. I like it. I actually really like the packaging. It's quite cute. The frick? It's got like, it's really dry. And it's got loads of fibres on it. Um, I hope this is safe for the eyes, Gertz. Gert! Mm-mm. This is not the look. Nope. It's not really working. There's nothing on this brush. That is actually funny. <laughs> There's nothing on my lashes! For lashes, I'm gonna be stacking these... You e gong to eyelashes and I'm going to be stacking two pairs of these blue I'm telling you lashes and glitter yeah? fixes everything so guys I bought two highlighters they are the get gorgeous highlighting powders and one is in highlighting powder and the other one is in bronze highlighting powder these were two pounds they are trying to dupe the MAC um, extra dimension skin finishes to be fair I'm a little bit hopeful, I'm, a, I'm actually a little bit hopeful about these because they look quite nice. They're not very gleamy, but they're very pigmented. So I'm going to be using the bronze one as a blush. I'm going to be using my MUA F11 brush with the light highlighter. Oh, uh, girl, okay. Okay, kids makeup. Okay, I might keep this. If this doesn't break me out, I might keep this one. For the lips, I'm gonna be using this Hello Kitty lip gloss. And uh, this is have a shade. It actually has a, it actually has a shade name. It's called Dozy Rosy, and it's this pink shade. She smells quite nice. She smells fruity. Stinging my lips though. I don't know what that's all about. So guys, this is the final look. I paired it up with this wig from bestlacewigs.com and this flower crown from Primark. And do you know what? 
I actually like the look. I actually really, really like the look. It's so cute. And these highlighters, I might keep them maybe even for the highlighter challenge. You know, the full face of highlighter challenge if that is still something that you guys want to watch. This is, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> this is actually so much fun to do, but I cannot wait to end this video and take this face makeup off because it feels so cakey and I don't want to break out from that foundation but guys I hope that you like the video give it a thumbs up share this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more challenges and I love you guys so so much bye guys